we'll see. We'll see. Hey, I watched that fourth quarter again of the Lakers Nuggets, and I charted every possession when Jokic came in. Laker fans know they be reaching, bro. We got to slow down. With <laughs> hey, man, man. Yeah. Stuff, we got to slow down, bro. Yo, I said do We got a. Hey. Wow. What you say, Z? <laughs> the whole so I out. literally, I literally charted every possession. Jokic missed two shots on him, <laughs> and they were shots that he missed. Like it wasn't like if you want to give him credit, that's fine. AD blocked one from the help side, and then he had to turn over to Aaron Gordon underneath when he tried to, you know, hit him on that, like, shovel pass when he was trying to cut to the basket. But mm-hmm. other than that, they literally just doubled him, and then he just made the right read, and Denver either made shots or missed shots. So the adjustment is going to be, instead of them trying to run a regular offense and try to put him at the nail at the free throw line, they'll probably put him closer to the block. But mm. really, it helped the Lakers from this standpoint that, AD could roll and didn't have to waste his energy guarding him. And it helped the Lakers because I don't think Denver really took advantage of it. And Jokic did like he should have. But the way the internet was talking, I had to go back and watch this. I was like, did he really shut him down like this? I'm like, no, nah, like he was solid, but they doubled him almost every single time. So I was just like, y'all got to slow down, man. That film don't lie, man. You just go back and look at it. Z, I just, I, I just was telling oh, Fabian about that. a similar he thing, man. Like, because I watched the game. You're not gonna tell me something. You just watched the highlight and then trying to tell me what you. I watched that game. It's a difference. <laughs> yeah, you know, with me though, I can admit because I people think I know everything. I, I go back and watch a lot. So when I speak, I don't just go off like, oh, I want to go back and make sure I'm right. So I went, especially on defense. Sometimes on defense, even as a former player. I had to sometimes watch several possessions just to see what they did because it's a lot of moving parts. So I went back. Like, he came in, I think, at, like, the 10-minute mark. And then he guarded him so the rest Kyle of the Lowry game. Kyle just pulled up twice for three. No, nah, he – and that's another guy. The fact that he comes, comes off the bench, he looked a little fresher for them. And he, at that stage of his career, he better against, like, that little second unit stuff. Right. Derek White didn't make that much better than him. What's the score to the game? 38-34 Boston, but that's because Lowry came. Yo, he came down here back-to-back threes just pulling up. <laughs> Javi. So that's a good point about uh, about about AD. Because Javi just said the same exact shit. And we saw it throughout the whole – at the first three mm-hmm. quarters. Mm-hmm. AD in the first half, it looked like he was giving the um, Joker problems. But Joker was just like you said, I ain't doing nothing. I'm going I'm to keep it slowing the game down. I'm going to pass the ball right. off. And oh, Zach was on the line, bro. Twelve or fifteen, just killing, destroying them. And then it was like, once mm. once Hatimura got in there, all right, AD plays the background. And he kind of was doing that with they treating they treated Joker like they treated Steph in the Warriors series. Yeah, that's exactly. how I look at it. Exactly, that's how I look at it. And the other thing AD is, Roman. I gotta give Hachimura credit because though he kept him in the game in the first half offensively, he was the only one out of the role players that really had it going and then Reeves picks uh-huh. it up in the fourth quarter. But the Lakers are in trouble if they can't get two games from D'Lo. D'Lo has to give them two games, and they're not going to be consecutive because he's never consistent. So I'm already looking at it. He has to give them a good game two and a good game four if they have any hopes of winning this series. But Because I don't know how playable Vanderbilt is. I think Ham is like, I want your defense to possibly be on Murray, but Denver is scoring at such a rate they can't afford to play four on five. So I don't even know how, how playable he is in this series. D- well, you D- saying D-Lo ain't going to have a good game until he get to L.A. See, yeah. yo, yo, Javi, he didn't play the whole fourth quarter. And that's not going to come back. He's only going to show up at home and give you 10 to 15 points. I don't care if he mm-hmm. have 11 in the first half. He's going to end with 13. And see, I don't think oh. that's enough in this series. Like, I, I think he needs 20, Javier. I think he needs 20, bro. No, I'm not that scoring. with you. I'm yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just I'm adding on to your your point. Like even because right. the way Denver, remember, people are acting like MPJ had a bad game. I had again, I had to go back and look. He shot fifty percent. <laughs> <laughs> he shot fifty fifty percent on like twelve shots. What are y'all talking about, man? Denver Yo, they is be good. Real delusional, man. <laughs> just admit, I said this in the space. Uh, Fabian, remember, 
just admit y'all didn't watch the Nuggets this year. Just admit that right. we can all move on. Y'all didn't watch them play right. for real. They Listen, didn't. and the Nuggets is playing with a chip on their shoulder because you think they don't hear and know all the rumblings about how what they not supposed to be and they not really a number one seed and they can't do it. They got something to prove. Yep. They do. 